Hey everyone, at some point when you're using Docker, you're gonna find yourself needing to worry about container networks. Uh, so sometimes what has happened to me, at least in the past, is I'll go ahead and create some containers based on images, but for whatever reason, sometimes these containers are not on the same Docker network. Um, and I don't mean like docker.com network, I just mean uh, locally, so when, when you fire off containers, there's, there's networking involved. And sometimes they don't end up on the same network, and in this case, they can't communicate to each other. Um, so what you can actually do is you can you can define your own container networking um, at will. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at some stuff here. Uh, so first of all, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show what networks I have available in Docker. So I have Docker Network LS. So you can see that there are three default networks, and then one that I created custom. Um, and you'll see where we're going to use each one of them in, in just a second. Uh, but you can actually create a new network by saying docker network create. We're going to provide it a driver, bridge, and then the name that you want to call that network. So in my case, I called it nraboy. So let me wipe this out. Um, and now we want to go ahead and, and launch a container. So let's go ahead and say docker run. We're going to run it in detached mode. And we're going to say port, and this is going to be, let's say, an Nginx container. So let's go ahead and say 8080 uh, is going to be the host, and then 80 is going to be the container port. We're going to say, uh, let's give it a name. We're going to call it server1. And then let's go ahead and say Nginx Alpine image. And if I go into my web browser, let's go ahead and close out some of these tabs. Um, let's go ahead and say localhost 8080. So Nginx is working. Um, and what we can do is if I go back here, I can say docker inspect server one, which is what we called it. And we can see that it does have an IP address and it does have a network. Now to, to change things up a bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that same command that I had run earlier, um, but I'm going to spin up another container of Nginx. It's going to be on port 8081. Um, and while I'm not going to let Nginx really, or, or I should say Docker, decide the network for me, um, just it, it could very well end up on the same network. But in some cases, for whatever reason, it, it hasn't. I'm going to define the network myself. So I'm going to say network equals nraboy. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my web browser. I'm going to open up another tab. I'm going to say localhost 8081. Seems to work fine, just as it should. And I'm going to say docker inspect, and we're, we call it server2. So it does have an IP address, and it does have a different network. Now here's here's the thing. So if I if I navigate into that container, so if I say Docker, and then I say uh, execute interactive terminal server two, and I say bash. Oh, it doesn't have bash. So let's say it's shell. And if I type in ping, and say I want to ping that other server, should work bad address. So it doesn't recognize server one, server one being the host name or the container name um, that the two containers should be able to communicate to each other. So um, this is an example of what would happen. And, and this happens to me like um, an example of how this has happened to me um, using the whatever Docker decides as my net network is. Um, so I'll spin up a database, I will spin up an application, and then I'll bang my head for an hour figuring, trying to figure out why my application can't can't communicate with my database. Um, and that's because for whatever reason, they ended up on a different network. Um, so let's go ahead and, and exit out of this. Let's go ahead and stop the first uh, container. So we're going to say Docker RMF. So force stop it. And we're going to say server one. And we're going to boot it up again. Um, we're going to call it server one. It's going to be on uh, the network and boy. It's it's already, oh, there's a port conflict. Um, so let's go ahead and, and remove it. I think it probably added it again. Uh, let's go ahead and change the port back to 8080. 
Uh, so I do have it. I do have it running. So let's go ahead and, and go back into um, server two, and we're gonna say ping, and we're gonna say ping server one, uh, and the ping worked this time because they're both on the same network. Uh, so server one's host name was recognized by server two exactly how we would expect it. So definitely uh, make use of that network tag. So just to I'll, I'll re go over it here. Um, make use of network. So create a network um, and actually add it to your Docker run command. So that way you know which network your containers are running on um, and then they'll be able to communicate to each other. If you're using Docker Compose, you won't have to worry because everything inside of a Docker Compose file actually is on the same network by default. Um, so that, that's one of the cool things about Compose. But if you're firing off these Docker containers using the command line, command line like I did with Docker run, um, you, you should really define your network. And if you wanted to, so say maybe you, you spun up a Docker Compose, Docker Compose will create its own network. Um, you could actually do hash uh, slash hyphen hyphen network in, in a command like I'm doing right now and, and try to connect to that Docker Compose network and it should work fine as well. So different scenarios, um, definitely useful uh, long term.